Bless you. Blessed is our God always, now, and ever, and under the ages of ages. Glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, the treasury of good things and the giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Again, pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Tab and all our brotherhood in Christ. Thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Glory to the holy, consubstantial life, and undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. I bring rest and utterly bow down until the end of the day 
development and sit down for that story. Where am I going to build with Martin to make my name in my blood? I'm afflicted and humbled to see me as worse than a burden of my heart. O Lord, before the atonement of Zion, my groaning is not yet completed. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and the light of my mind, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors do not over against me stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evil for me spoke vain things, and cast in my face all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproof. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet are shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrow continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take thee concerning my sin. But my enemies live, and are stronger than I. And they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto them, let the Lord my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul thirsteth for thee. How often has my flesh longed after thee, and am I barren of my cloud and of my water? So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, and my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness that my soul be filled, and with blessed rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed as I dawn, I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper and the shelter of thy wings, as I rejoice. My soul is pleased after thee, thy right hand hath been put to help me. But as for these in vain, have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered into the edge of the sword, poison shall cost them shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, every one shall be praised that swears by him. For the mouth of them which stop that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper and the shelter of thy wings as I rejoice. My soul is pleased after thee, thy right hand hath been put to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, thou hearest our cry, and thou answers for our evilness. Thou comest boldly by thine hand and answer my supplication. Lord God, this evil doth not spoil my life, but it produces upon my life. I am found as I lay down, and sleep till I am come again. I have my seeing in the dead. As the body to the slain and sleep in the grave, and thou makest no more and wilt call for my name. In vain did my Lord pray, thou hast made me a sorrow of death. In vain did my name the Lord cry out, or the Lord took God upon me. Thou hast removed my friends apart from me, great and evil, thou removest many from the dead. I have been delivered up and not conserved, mine eyes have done weeping without me. I have cried unto the Lord, the Lord is on earth, Lord God, and he hears me. Most of the earth, thou art angry with salvation, the earth and all that therein is with thine hand. Most of thy word is renowned in my darkness, and thy light is hid, and thy anger is cut off from me. But as for me, to thee, O Lord, I cry, and in the morning from the seraphim of fear of thee. Therefore, O Lord, wilt thou cast off my sins, and wilt thou be pure from me. The poor man of mine, and suffer for my deeds, for thine name, thou shalt have humbled and brought to the dust. Thy fear is at upon me, my terror shall still be upon me. Such a man dwelleth in my heart all the day long, and against me a lot of blood is brought to me, to cry to me from the night, and unto the night, because of my fear. O Lord God, my salvation, Lord, is that time that I have before thee, that my soul can appear to thee, that I may make my supplication from thee. Blood is the Lord on my soul, and all that is within me, blood is the Lord name, blood is the Lord on my soul, and forget not all that he has done for me. He is gracious unto all men, and truly to thee, O God, and his name is true, and if I walk in corruption, the promise of his mercy is not to me. Lord, if thou desire to save me, so he is holy and made to be holy. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and righteousness to them that call them that are on me. He hath made his way to them in the light, and made his sun to give light to them that are in Compassionate and merciful, the Lord long suffering and kindness and mercy. Not unto the angry of the end, but neither the reckoning of the iniquity of the law. Not according to our iniquities have we dealt with us, neither according to our sins have we rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail with the remnant of the wicked. As far as the east is 
from the left to heart and resign to the coma. I to the Father, I come back from having come to the world, I come back from the coma with you, and I bring your mercy and may your hand be over with us. I command the angels to flash the clouds that you have prepared to walk in for. The wind and wind is such over them, shall be gone, and the water will not quench their eyes. But the mercy of the Lord is upon the hand of the angels, which may be upon them which fear him and delight in his coming and his home, upon them which have accepted him and entered under his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, you saints of mine, who stand to perform his works for the word of his word. Bless the Lord, all you who trust in him, who fear his holy servant. Bless the Lord, all you who work in every place of his name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and every place of his name. Bless the Lord, all my soul. O Lord, do my prayer for me, hear my supplication, and mercy is added unto me. My life is in your hand, and I will deliver and preserve me. Then my sight shall no more be me justified, but the enemy of truth shall not speak to me. My soul will shall not my life down to the earth. He has gotten me back, and said, Those who have been long dead in the spirit of enemies to come to call me. Even though my heart is troubled, I remember the days of old, and meditate on all that I write, such my lamentations of thine enemies. I search for thine hands, and bring my soul first to the back of the earth, while there is time. Seek me for me, O Lord, my spirit, and strengthen the earth, and my heart will deliver from me, lest it be the hands of them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for me that I am Cause me to know, O Lord, the way that I may to walk in holy joy, for thy mercy is. Bless me until my enemies, O Lord, I fear thee, thy sight shall rescue me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Let the spirit that is in me alive, spread into the land, give the Lord thy help with the needy. In thy righteousness shall thy enemies go out of his dominion, thy mercy shall go out of the midst of my enemies. And thou shalt cut off their iniquity from my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and unto my good works, and preserve me. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and unto my good works, and preserve me. Let the spirit that is in me alive, spread into the land. In peace, let us pray to the Lord for the peace from above and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Father and Metropolitan Savas, for our bishops, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, its president, all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, or at danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. So this means this is the word he spoke that is going to be. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All nations compass me about. 
and in the name of the Lord, will I destroy them. Lord, it's the Lord, and that's appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord doing it as marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and that's appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. When Mary stood at thy grave looking for thy sacred body, angelic power shone above thy revered face, and the soldier to which he tried thee came at dead men. Thou led Hades captive and was not tempted thereby. Thou did teach the virgin and did give much to the world. O thou who art risen from the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The memory of the dry church is celebrated with songs of praise. But the Lord's testimony is sufficient for thee, O forerunner. Thou wast shown indeed to be the most honorable of the prophets, for in the waters thou didst baptize him who had been chosen. After suffering with joy in behalf of the truth, thou didst proclaim even to those in Hades the God who appeared in the flesh, who taketh away the sin of the world, and granted Spirit in the likeness of a dove, confirm the truth of his word. O Christ our God, who hath appeared and enlightened the world, glory to thee. Etike eti iridini tu kiriu dei tomen. Ande lavu soson ileson ke diafilaxon imasto theos tisi chariti. Dis panegia sacrandu hypervlogi menes en doxo de spinis imon teotoku carper partenu marias metampando ton agion minimone sandes e aptos ke alilos ke pasan tinzo in imon Christo to teo parasometha. For thine is the majesty and the majesty, kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. When the tomb was shown to be open and Hades came, Mary cried unto the cowering apostles, saying, Come out, ye ravens of Judea, and proclaim the word of the resurrection. For the Lord is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mary Magdalene, O Lord, did stand by thy tomb and cry, weeping. And when she thought thou wast the gardener, she said, Where hast thou hidden the everlasting life? Where hast thou placed him who sitteth on the cherubic throne? And when she saw the guard, she kept him, appearing from fear like dead, she cried unto them, Give me my Lord, or else cry with me, saying, O thou who was numbered among the dead. And who didst raise the dead, O Lord, glory to thee. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. When Jesus had been born of the blameless virgin, and when he was baptized of John in the waters of the Jordan, the Spirit descended upon him, appearing in the likeness of a dove. For this cause the holy prophet cried out and said together with all the angels, Glory unto thy coming, O Christ God, glory be to thy kingdom, Glory to thy dispensation, O thou only love of mankind. Verily, life was placed in the grave, and the seals were applied to the stone, and the soldiers guarded Christ as they would a sleeping king. But the Lord rose, smiting his enemies in an invisible way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages 
to thee become men. Verily, Jonah did come before and made a sign of thy seeing, and Simeon did interpret thy divine resurrection, O deathless Lord. For thou didst descend into the grave as one who is dead, O thou who didst invade the gates of Hades, and didst rise free of corruption for the salvation of the world, being the master, O Christ God, and didst light those who are in darkness. Both now and ever in unto ages of ages, amen. When the great forerunner John saw thee, O Christ God, in the Jordan's running stream, come to thee, baptized willingly, he cried in gladness, Thou hast now come, thou hast appeared, O thou light unapproachable. Paki paki mirom gospodu pomolim sia Zastupi spasi pomiluj i sokrani naš bože tvoje ju blagodatiu Prezjatu ju prečistu ju preblagoslovenu ju slavnu ju vladičicu našu bogorodicu i prizno djevu Mariju so siemi siatimi pamianuši sami sievi drug druga i veš god naš Kristov Bogu predadi. For blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By thy willing yet life-giving death, O Christ, thou hast crushed the gates of Hades because thou art God and has opened the old paradise, and having risen from the dead, 
Bell has to do her life from corruption. To the heavens do I lift mine eyes, O word of God. Have mercy upon me that I may live by thee. O word, have mercy upon us who are despised. They make us good in chosen vessels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Verily, in the Holy Spirit is the cause of salvation for all. For when he bloweth on one worthily, he doth raise him speedily from earthly things, doth wing him and cause him to grow, and doth rank him in the heavenly places. Were not the Lord in our midst, it would not be possible for any of us to stand firm in his resting with the enemy. For only thereby do the victors attain to exaltation and victory. Woe to me, how shall I escape the enemy while I am a lover of shame? Wherefore deliver not my soul a word like a bird to their teeth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, through the Holy Spirit is every one made divine, and in him is pleasure, understanding, safety, and blessing, for he is equal to the Father and the Word together. They who trust in the Lord are feared by their enemies and are wondered at by all, for their sight is very high. The party of the righteous have secured thee as their shelter, O Savior, and therefore shall not eke out a chance to iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Holy Spirit hath might over all, for him do all the heavenly hosts worship and every breath below. O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. Hearken up, Shepherd of Israel. O Lord, arouse thy strength, and come to our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For holy art thou, O our God, who restest in the holy place, and to thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Counted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be to you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord, and Jesus said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord, but he said to them, Unless I see in his hand the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. 
Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Thomas, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, O Lord. Christ our Lord. Come, all you faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy come into all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the most of thy compassion, Lord of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy word. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast gone through the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me. And I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to rejoice with gladness. The bones of the humble they shall be joined. Turn thy face away from my sin. And blot out all my iniquity. Created me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall sing and measure thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from the guilty My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With overt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken feeling. A heart that is broken and a full to good, O oh Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar, and have mercy on thee.
blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave, has restored to us, has given unto us life eternal and great mercy. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, whose synaxis we celebrate today, of the holy, glorious, all audible, and foremost of the apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of, Z of, of Myra in Lycia, Spiritum, Trimitios, and Ectarios of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, Nikolai of Zicha, who labored in America, Innocent the Evangelizer of Alaska, and Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, Enlighteners of North America, John, the wonder worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, and Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, the trophy bearer, Demetrius, the mere streaming, Theodore, the soldier, Theodore, the general, and Minas, the wonder worker, of the higher martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Adelampos and Eleftherios, and Juvenali of Iliamna, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Potini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of the holy, glorious, right, victorious martyrs, especially Peter the Aleut, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, who shone in the ascetic life, Anthony the Great, Seraphim of Serov, Herman of Alaska, and Paisios of Athos, through the grace of the Holy Transfiguration of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and of the holy and right and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, we beseech only merciful Lord, Hearken unto the petitions of us sinners, and make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son with whom thou art blessed together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Jordan filled with fear at thy coming and the flesh was driven back trembling and John fulfilling the ministry of the spirit drew back in awe. The ranks of angels stood amazed beholding thee in the streams baptized in the flesh and all those in darkness were filled with light, singing the praises of thee, who art made manifest and giveth life to all. Who art made manifest and giveth life to all. Adam became blind in Eden, but now in Bethlehem the sun has appeared to him and opened his eyes, washing them clean in the waters of Jordan. Unto him that was in black darkness a light has risen that shall never be put out. There is no more night for him, but all is day. For his sake, the hour has now come round to break of day. For as it, as it written, it was the cool of evening when he hid. He who fell at evening has found the brightness that raised him up. He is released from gloom and has come to the dawn. That is made manifest and giveth life to all. That is made manifest and giveth life to all. On January 7th in the Holy Orthodox Church, we celebrate the synaxis of Galilee of the holy and glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John. On the same day is also commemorated the translation of the 
Lord of Creation and Holy Great Henry, and to the city of Constantinople. How shall this town of mine now praise thee, O preacher, whom Christ's tongue calleth greater than all the earth's learned, the famous forerunner's memorial is the lot of the seven. Because John's main role in his life is played out on the day of the offering to the shepherds, the church from earliest times dedicated the day after to his memory. Among the gospel personalities who surrounded him when John the Baptist occupied a totally unique place by his role in baptizing the Messiah and in baptizing people for repentance. John contained himself in the wilderness of the desert for 30 years for his great service by a strict life, by fasting, prayer, and sympathy for the state of God's people. John was of such moral purity that in truth he could be called an angel, a messenger, as Holy Scripture calls him rather than a mortal man. He appeared on the banks of the Jordan to prepare the people by his preaching to accept the Savior of the world. In terminology, the Baptist is called a bright morning star whose gleaming outshone the brilliance of all the other stars, <clears throat> announcing the coming dawn of the day of grace, illumined with the light of the spiritual sun, our Lord Jesus Christ. John differs from all other prophets, especially in that he had that privilege of being able with his hands to show the world him about whom he prophesied. As the holy forerunner and Baptist of the Lord, whom the Lord called the greatest of the prophets, John concludes the history of the Old Testament and opens the era of the New Testament. He bore witness to the only begotten Son of God incarnate in the flesh. John was accounted worthy to baptize him in the waters of the Jordan, and he was a witness of the theophany of the most holy trinity at the Savior's baptism. On this day, we commemorate the new martyr Athanasius of Italia and venerable Brenna of Blanca. By the intercessions of thy saints, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Wash away with the dew of 
the Theotokos and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. Hath 
and perfect salvation and framing the upbidding hymn of thanksgiving. Bring it as a gift, as a benefactor. Más y más en paz roguemos al Señor. Señor te pido. Amparanos, sálvanos, ten misericordia y protégenos, oh Dios, por tu gracia. Señor, te envío. Conmemorando a nuestra Santísima, Purísima, Bendita y Gloriosa Señora, Madre, Madre de Dios, Madre de Dios y siempre Virgen María, junto con todos los santos, encomendémonos a nosotros mismos, los unos a los otros y toda nuestra vida entera, Cristo nuestro Dios. Así, Señor. Oh, the powers of heaven, praise thee and unto thee. We ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Bye.
of his power. Thy burial, O Master, hath opened paradise to mankind. Wherefore we escape for action. We praise thee, O risen God, have mercy on us. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. With the Father and the Spirit, let us praise Christ, risen from the dead. And unto him let us cry, Thou art our life and resurrection, have mercy upon us. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. Thou hast risen from the tomb in three days. As it was written, O Christ, and has raised with thee our forefathers. Wherefore mankind doth glorify thee and praise thy resurrection. This glory shall be to all his saints. Christ our God, who is light of light. God manifest, hath shone forth to the world. Let us, O nations, worship him. Praise him upon the hot temples. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. How shall we serve the living King? Honor thee, O Christ, for by water thou didst renew our souls. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. The sea saw and fled, and Jordan turned back on its courses. When thou wast baptized in the Jordan, O our Savior, Thou didst sanctify the forces by laying of thy servant's hand upon thee, healing the sufferings of the world, wherefore great in the midst of thy dispensation, O Lord, lover of mankind, glory to thee. What aileth thee, O thou sea that thou didst flee? Why didst thou turn back, O Jordan, on thy course? The true light hath appeared, granting illumination to all. And Christ, transcending all purity, is baptized with us, charging the water with sanctity for the purification of our souls. Verily, the thing apparent is earthly, but its significance transcendeth heaven. For by washing salvation is attained by water at the Spirit, and by immersion ascent to God. Wherefore, great are thy works, O Lord, glory be.
drew him that was incarnate of thee. His aid is his blood. Adam is recalled from the dead. The curse is made void. Eve is set free. Death is slain and we are endowed with life. Wherefore in him the praise we cry aloud. Blessed art thou, O Christ, our God, who art thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, who has shown us the light. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace and good will among King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Receive our prayer, O oh, that thou sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, how I sin our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned. Lord, I have fled unto thee, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Glory be, if the fountain of life in thy life shall be seen by. O oh, continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Glory be, God, only mighty, holy, Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. 
It's time for the Lord to act. Bless Master. Blesses our God always knows the ages of ages. Amen. Pray for Holy Master. The Lord direct thy steps into every good work. Remember the Holy Master. The Lord God, remember thee in his kingdom. Thy priest is the Lord God, remember thee in his kingdom. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Sava, for all our bishops, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For helpful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other, and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee or do all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. When Israel went out of Egypt in the house of Jacob from among a barbarous people, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save. And thou, Jordan, that thou didst turn back. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, save Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. 
majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I am filled with love for the Lord will hear the voice of my supplication for he hath inclined his ear unto me and in my days will I call upon him. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Lord, a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. who has appointed in heaven orders and hosts of angels and archangels to the service of thy glory. Cause them with their entrance to be an entrance of holy angels, serving with us and glorifying thy goodness. Friend of the earth, do a glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master Holy Angel. Bless is the entrance to thy holy place, O Lord, always now and to ages of ages.
and fall down before Christ. Save us, O Son of God, who art risen from the dead. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory 
to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and through ages of ages. Amen. Have put on Christ. Alleluia. With strength. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. Alleluia. Amen. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed Master, the throne on earth. Blessed are the Lord, the Lord, the kingdom of the cherubim, always and ever, through ages of ages. attend. In those days, it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the upper country and came to Ephesus and found some disciples. And he said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said to him, no, we have never heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, into what then were you baptized? And they said, into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Christ Jesus. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit descended on them, and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. And they were in all about twelve men. And he entered into the synagogue and spoke boldly for a period of three months, reasoning with them and persuading them. Concerning the kingdom of God. The righteous man shall flourish like a palm tree, and like a cedar of Lebanon shall he be multiplied. Those that are planted in the house of the Lord, in the courts of our God, shall they blossom forth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be to all. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory to thee. Let us attend. At that time, John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes man who ranks before me, for he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this I came baptizing with water that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness, I saw the Spirit descend as a dove from heaven, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him. But he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit and I. I've seen and have borne witness 
that this is the Son of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is in our midst. Please forgive me, brothers and sisters. Yesterday, we celebrated the Holy Theophany of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Theophany, Greek, fancy Greek word, theosphanias, the appearance of God. That's what it means. That is, at Christ's baptism, the Holy Trinity was revealed to us. As we heard in the Synaxarian reading from yesterday, the heavens were opened, and the Father was revealed to the sense of hearing. The Spirit was revealed to the sense of sight. And in addition to these, the Son was revealed to the sense of touch. The Father uttered his witness about the Son. The Son was baptized in the water, and the Holy Spirit, in the form of a dove, ho hovered above the water. Christ came to the waters of baptism, by the way, not to be purified, but rather to purify the waters and to show us the path of salvation. If you were here at the Royal Hours, there was an amazing hymn where we're singing to the waters, and the waters answer back, I don't know how to clean this one, but he taught me how to baptize. A beautiful, beautiful hymn. So th that is, through the sanctifying waters of holy baptism, water which he himself made holy, made pure, and, we, and it, it's the same water which we enter and die and rise again in the Lord, through holy baptism. Today, brothers and sisters, we celebrate the synaxis of the honorable prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, because it was at his hands that our Lord received this baptism. St. John is given several titles in scripture and in our liturgical service. He is prophet, he is the forerunner, he is the messenger, or angel, and he is also known as the baptism, the Baptist. All of these titles are related to the message he came to proclaim. But what is this message, brothers and sisters? And is it important for us today? Or was it simply a message only for those at the time of Jesus Christ? St. John was first and foremost a prophet, the greatest of the prophets as attested by Jesus Christ himself in the Gospel of Luke. Quote, for I say unto you, among those that are born of women, there is not a greater prophet than St. John the Baptist. St. John was the last of the prophets. He also, he also was to baptize the long-awaited and prophesize Messiah in the Jordan River, initiating our Lord into his messianic mission. St. Cyril of Jerusalem teaches us this. Baptism is the end of the Old Testament and the beginning of the New. For its author was John. He was the end of the prophets. For all the prophets and the law were until John, if we look at Matthew chapter 11, verse 13. But for the gospel history, he was the first fruit. For the gospel says, Mark chapter 1, verse 1, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then just a little later, John came baptizing in the wilderness. St. John Chrysostom says this. He says this about St. John, that he was the last of the prophets because the other prophets spoke about the coming of Jesus, didn't see him, only spoke about them. While John pointed his finger towards him saying, look, here he is, he's at hand, you can reach out and touch him, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. It was firmly embedded as part of the Second Temple Jewish tradition that Elijah would return before the coming of the Messiah and the day of the Lord. This is directly prophesied by the prophet Malachi. Verses 3, 1, chapter 4, 5, 6, where we read, Behold, I will send my messenger. And I have to say something about this. When it, the, this uh, verse was translated from, uh, um, from uh, uh, Jewish into Greek in the, the third century, uh, we know it as a Septuagint, the word for messenger was angelos. I will send my angel, and he will prepare the, war, the, the way before you. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger, the angel of the covenant, whom you delight in. Behold, he will come, saith the Lord. Then just a little later, behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. 
and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to their children, and the heart of their children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So the Jews believed that Elijah would come before the Messiah to prepare his path. St. John the Forerunner is clearly presented by the Gospel writers as the fulfillment of this prophecy of Malachi. We read in Matthew, Jesus began to say to the multitudes concerning John, What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft, soft garments? Indeed, those who wear soft clothing are in kings' houses. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet. For this is he who it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will, be, uh, who will prepare for you, to prepare your way before you. And if you're willing to receive it, he is Elijah who is to come. And brothers and sisters, as an ex extra special kind of side note about our iconography in the church, this is why St. John the Forerunner is depicted with wings on, because pointing right back to, back to that prophecy of Malachi, as a uh, forerunner being the angel, the messenger from God who is like the holy angels. This, brothers and sisters, does not mean that St. John was a reincarnation of Elijah. We don't believe in such things. The Gospel of Luke makes this very clear for us. Remember, when Zacharias, John's father, was serving as the priest, his lot fell to offer incense, and the angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him that he would have a son in his old age, and he would call him John, and he would be, quote, in the spirit and power of Elijah, not actually the person of Elijah. Remember when Elisha, the disciple of Elijah, asked him for a double portion of his spirit, and he received it, and he parted the Jordan just like Elijah had as well. And when the sons of the prophets saw this, they said, quote, the spirit of Elijah rests on Elisha. That is, St. John acted in the same power and spirit as Elijah. St. John, John's mission as the forerunner of Christ was to, quote, prepare the way. The Old Testament prophecy most associated with St. John and his ministry is Isaiah 40. The voice of one calling out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every ravine will be filled, and every mountain and hill will be lowered. The crooked will be made straight, and the rough road smooth, and all flesh will see the salvation of God. And thus, as forerunner, St. John preaches the message of repentance before coming the coming of the Mighty One, uh, the Mighty One who he, by the way, the greatest of the prophets, was not fit to remove his sandals. St. Nikolai teaches us about this verse of preparation from, uh, from Isaiah. He says, St. John the Baptist was the voice crying in the twofold wilderness, in the wilderness of the Jordan and in the wilderness of the human heart. Just as the wilderness of the Jordan was fruitless and dry, so the wilderness of the human spirit was unfruitful and dry. John was not able to make the human wilderness green and fruitful, but he cleared and plowed it, and in that way he was preparing the earth and leveled it, that is the earth, for the great sower, who by his coming brings with him the seed and the rain to sow the seed of knowledge and the rain of grace from on high to make it green and be fruitful. He continues, by repentance, John prepared the way and by baptism in water made the path straight. The way and the path, are, uh, these are the souls of men. By repentance, the souls of men were prepared to receive the seed of Christ, and by baptism in water to bury that seed deep in the earth of their heart. The proud and the lowly, two people, the proud and the lowly, when they are immersed naked in the water, are all as one, equal in their nothingness before the majesty of the all-glorious Christ the Savior. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain shall be made low. The word here is not about earthly values, St. Nikolai says, and, uh, and the hills of lowly and proud men, but are as corpses in the grave. All, all are the same before the eyes of a living man. Thus all sinners, both lowly and proud, slaves and master, are equal before the living God. And not only, brothers and sisters, did the forerunner come before Christ, preaching the living God in this world, but as we sing in this hymn, 
after suffering and joy, uh, suffering with joy in behalf of the truth, thou didst proclaim, proclaim even to those in Hades the God who appeared in the flesh, who takes away the sins of the world and grants us great mercy. That is, brothers and sisters, St. John was not only the forerunner here on earth. He also brought the gospel message to Hades before Christ had come to conquer it. Preaching Christ among us and that he is coming as flesh and man to come and destroy this place. Brothers and sisters, the message of St. John the Baptist was not only for those who came to him in the wilderness of the, of, of the Jordan River, but also applies to us today. The message of St. John the Baptist can be summed up by what we read on his icon. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Which is, Christ was the kingdom of heaven because Christ was the Son of God, who would inaugurate the coming of the Holy Spirit into this world, which is the kingdom of heaven itself. For where the Holy Spirit is, there also is the kingdom of heaven. But Christ and the Holy Spirit cannot be received by someone without repentance. Repentance is the necessary condition for receiving Jesus Christ as the God-man and receiving the grace of the Holy Spirit. As long as man lives unrepentant, hardened in his selfishness, in his self-reliance, in his self-love, and in his passions, he can neither receive Christ as the God-man nor the grace of the Holy Spirit. That is why the Holy Forerunner, in order to open people's hearts and accept Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, taught, repent. The Holy Forerunner invites us today to be the people of repentance, to live a life of repentance, to constantly have our sins and our iniquities in front of us. If we want to have Christ in our hearts, and if we want to have the grace of the Holy Spirit, repentance is necessary. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low applies to us today. The valleys that must be exalted for the Messiah to come into our lives are the spiritual deficiencies that we have and the mountains that, we, that must be brought low so that the way of the Lord might be made straight and the Lord may walk and come to us are the passions, brothers and sisters, which are like mountains that crush us and do not allow us to live a life of dispassion and holiness. Therefore, we must have a constant concern for ourselves. What do we lack? This is the question we should ask. What do we lack? What shortcomings do we have? What valleys do we have inside us? What mountains do we have inside of us? That is, the passions that prevent us from being united to God. And let our, and let our whole life be a life of repentance and a life of struggle. But I'm not talking, brothers and sisters, about a, I'm talking about a joyful struggle. I was thinking about this. This is like every one of us who has taken a math class, who was struggling through the math problem. But when you got the answer, there was joy. Yeah? You guys, make, does that make sense, y'all? Antonia? Yeah? <laughs> this is the struggle I'm talking about. Joyful struggle, right? Struggle against these things that keep us from God so that we can have the, the prize in the end. So that we may cover over our shortcomings and humble our passions so that we may be united with the Lord Jesus Christ as our Messiah, our Redeemer, and Savior. Through the prayers of the Holy Forerunner and Baptist, and John, Baptist John, and may he all be found worthy to fight this good fight of repentance in, until our last breath. Amen. Amen. Let us say with our whole soul and our whole mind, let us say. O oh Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray the ark and have mercy. Have mercy. have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray the ark and have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father Metropolitan Sava and for all of our bishops. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, our monks, deacons, our deacons, and monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. 
again we pray. For mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and forgiveness of sins. For the servants of God, the, the suffering ser for George, for the suffering servants, George, Isidore, James, Bill, Matthew, for Michael and for his family, for the reader, Simeon, for Nicolette and her unborn child, Alexander and her unborn child, Paulina and her unborn child, Anastasia and her unborn child, Elizabeth and her unborn child, Maria and her unborn child, for Michelle and her unborn child, for Julia, for Maria, for Elizabeth, for Michael, for Jonah, for the priest Patrick and Coria Christina, for Anna, Mitch, Sophia, for Joanna, for Deacon Nader, Hala, for Athanasia, and for Bryce, Seraphim, Sean, Amy, Denise, a Annie, Diane, Elizabeth, Charlie, Aaron, Eric, Ethan, Edric, the priest, Wayne, Evan, Beth, Jim, Russ, Darlene, for Patty, Perry, Nadina, for Constantine, Christine, for Lily, Ax, Je Alex, Jesse, Elena, for Dimitri, Sergius, for Nathan, Amelia, for Nicholas, Alexander, Matthew, Olivia, for George, Michelle, Jessica, Eric, Kai, Kai for Micah, for Anna, Carol, for Stephen, Max, for Ken, Mark, Susan, for Colton, Logan, Nicoletta, George, Maria, John, Athanasia, Consuela, and for Becky, and all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for the newly departed servant of God, Stephen, for the newly departed servant, Darlene, for the people who have lost their lives in Israel and Palestine, for Elder Ephraim, for Matushka Olga, for Lee, for Nicholas, Leo, Anita, for Kirk, Darlene, Joseph, Anita, Lay, for the subdeacon, John, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox Martyrs life before us, who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing, and all the people are present who wait that great and rich mercy. Thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we pray. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, ever and unto ages of ages. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will teach them the word of truth, that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Help to save them, have mercy upon them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads in the Lord, ye catechumens. O Lord our God, who dwellest on high and regardest things below, who was sent forth as the salvation of the race of men, thine only begotten Son and God, our Lord Jesus Christ, look down upon thy servants, the catechumens, who have bowed their necks before thee. Make them worthy in the due season of the labor of regeneration, remission of sins, the robe of incorruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them with thine elect flock. That with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. As many as our catechumens depart, depart catechumens, as many as our catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. As many as are of the faithful, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. For unto thee, or do all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, that guarded always by thy might, may glory unto thee. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. By the power of thy Holy Spirit, enable me, whom in union the grace of the priesthood to stand before the Holy Trinity and perform the sacred mystery of thy holy and blessed body and blessed blood. For I draw near unto thee, and thou in thy neck I pray for thee, turn not thy face away from me, and hear cast my from all his thy children. But thou safe to peace, gifts of the God, which are offered unto thee by me, thy sins are unworthy worthy service. For now thou shalt be he that offers himself and accepts it as a tribute of Christ the God, and Jesus Christ, Lord. Give us the memories of the peace, thou holy good, and life in the spirit, ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before it, that thou mightst be justified in thy word. For they all now are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth. The hidden and secret things of thy wisdom hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me this if and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me a joy and gladness. Both that the humble be shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sin. God of all mine iniquities created me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. And take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Return to me the joy of thy salvation. And with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways. And then God they shall come back unto thee. Deliver thee from thy filthiness. Oh, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips. Let not the for thy praise. For if thou have desired sacrifice, I have given it. With over its offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble. Christians, may the Lord God remember you in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our 
our Father and Metropolitan Saba and our Bishop, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. For our country, the president, all civil authorities, and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and under the ages of ages. For the servants of God, for Joanna, and for Julia, for Reader Simeon, and for the suffering Christians in Palestine, Iraq, Egypt, Kosovo, Serbia, Syria, Israel, in the Ukraine. For the parish council, the choir, the readers, the chanters, the subdeacons, those who serve, those who sing, those who prepare, those who are donors, those who are benefactors of this holy temple. For Nicoletta, Alexandra, Paulina, Elizabeth, Maria, and for their unborn children and for all the unborn children, that they may have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of sins. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, never, and unto ages of ages. For the servants of God departed this life before us. For the newly departed servant of God, Stephen, the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, never, and under the ages of ages. The Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, never, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The noble Joseph, when he had taken down that immaculate body from the tree, wrapped it in pure linen and spices, and sorry, placed it in a new tomb, in the grave with the body, but Hades with the soul of God, in paradise with the thief, and on the throne with the Father, and spirit with thou, O Christ, filling all things, thyself uncircumcised. Do good, O Lord, like a pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shall they be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer the Lord's Father. Remember the Holy Man, Lord God, remember the Holy Man, Lord God, remember the Holy Let us complete our morning. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who, with faith, reverence, and fear of God, enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and proper for our souls and peace for the whole world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Passions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. 
Let us do. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. Christ is and never shall be. The doors, the doors in wisdom, let us attend. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. We give thee the right to him, thee to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, and the invisible, ever existing, and eternally the same. Thou then only be God's Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thou was and bring us to the existence of being, and when we have fallen away, there came to be some again. It is not to cease to do all things, for us and for our Father, and heaven and heaven, and doubt us with thy kingdom, which is to come. We give thanks unto thee, and to thine only begotten Son, and to thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know, and which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks also for this liturgy, which thou dost vouchsafe to receive from us, from our hands, even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their wings, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying... holy disciples and apostles saying take ye eat this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin likewise after supper he took the cup saying drink of this all of you this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for you and for many for the remission of
having in remembrance, therefore, the saving commandment. And all those things that have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the third day, resurrection, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Thine own, of thine own, we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. And again, we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship. And we beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth. Bless Mass of the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. Amen. Bless Mass of the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of thy Christ. Amen. Bless Master Bowl. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof, they may be under vigilance of soul, under remission of sin, under the communion of thy Holy Spirit, under the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven under boldness toward thee, not unto judgment nor unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this rational worship for all those who have gone before us to their rest, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Sinexarian we celebrate and of all the saints that have through supplication visit us to God. Be mindful of those who fall asleep before us in the hope of the resurrection, especially to the Lord our Jesus, who is part of Christ's kingdom, and grant them for us to our God with the light of thy covenant over them. And again, we beseech thee with my own word, that this is the open up and grant us back to the word of thy truth for all the all the things that we have yet to pray and receive from the Lord. Among the first, be mindful, Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Saba, and for our bishops, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches, in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth, and of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the honorable presbytery, the diaconate in Christ, and every priestly and monastic order, and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they're remembering, and of all mankind. And of all mankind. Be mindful, Lord, of the city in which we dwell, and of every city and countryside, and those who stay to dwell therein. Be mindful, Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land and air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches and who remember the poor and upon us all send forth thy mercies and grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise thine honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord for the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified. Let us pray to the Lord that our God, who loveth mankind, having received them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar as an aroma of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And vouchsafe, O Master, that with boldness, without condemnation, we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our, our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy boundless power has made all things, and the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from nothingness into being. Do thou, thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down to flesh and blood, but unto thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea, journey with those who travel by land and air, heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life, giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Let us attend the holy things are for the holy. Divided and distributed. I believe, O Lord, and, and I confess, confess that, that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into the world to save sinners. Bless us and one of the holy things, Lord, always now to ages of ages. Amen. Warmth of faith of the Holy Spirit. And wherefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, of knowledge and of ignorance. My brothers and fellow sisters. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters. Forgive me. Ye shall not be afraid of the Lord. Lord, I draw near to Christ, our mortal King and my God, the precious and holy body of Jesus Christ. upon the Reverend Deacon Mass for the remission of sins and life everlasting.
Upon the Reverend Deacon Matthew for the remission of sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lo, this has touched thy lips, it shall purge away thy sins, take away all thy iniquities. The sinner shall be as the angels, he shall laugh with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the sinner shall perish. His heart is ready to hope in the Lord. His heart is established and he shall not be afraid until he looks down upon his enemies. My dear ones, if you are an Orthodox Christian and you have prepared yourself to recent confession and fasting and prayer.
have mercy on us and O oh God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. When Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. And unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast permitted us to partake of thy holy divine immortal and life-giving upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Ask you that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Master, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear. Guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. As thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctify those who put their trust in thee, save thy people, bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not a hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, the civil authorities, the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights, and to thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy be upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan and rose from the dead for our salvation, Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptist John, whose is synaxis we celebrate this day, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have just celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, 
through the grace of the Holy Transfiguration and of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and love as mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Christ is in our midst. So my dear ones, we start off today with house blessings. So if you're on that name, if, you're, if your name's on there, hopefully your address is good in the uh, online directory so we can find your house. Um, I'm thinking of right around one, we'll start that off so that you have enough time to sit and eat for a little bit. Um, this Wednesday, we have the uh, daily liturgy for the after feast and for St. Gregory of Nyssa. That's at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. So the house blessings will just continue on. If you're not on that list or you can't be on that list or you need to move it, that's fine. Um, if not, then, or if that doesn't work out to have it, especially on a Sunday or your house just isn't clean yet, um, then uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, then um, we can just schedule it sometime else during the week. I'll start probably leaving Thursdays open to start doing two or, two or three on a Thursday as well. Um, Catechumenic class today at one. And then um, a couple of notes. Uh, you know, yesterday uh, we, we were able to go over to Settlers Park and bless the pond there, which was great. So just a reminder, I want us to continue that tradition. So if we happen to be in our, in our other building by next year, the Snake River or the Boise River is just up the, uh, the hill from us. So we'll start blessing it from there, which means, boys, I want you to start getting ready to be able to jump into really cold water. Okay, really cold water. Okay, so just, just be prepared for that. Um, uh, <laughs> You know, we're getting also into this, the weatherable season. So, you know, if, if it is like snowing like crazy and you live out in Star, you know, I'd much rather you be safe. So just, you know, plan on being here depending on the weather. I only live two and a half miles away and I have a four wheel drive. So, it, you know, unless you see my pickup pulled over and stuck in a, I'm going to be here at the church. Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to be if you don't think it's safe to drive. So just kind of remember that as the weather. Uh, Subdeacon Thomas wanted to say something as well. On behalf of the church, we'd like to thank whoever um, mysteriously plowed our uh, parking lot and shelled our sidewalks today, so thank you. And that was very nice. If you, Yeah, somebody came around and did that. So, um, And also, one other thing. So on Saturday, the 20th of this month, is the Walk for Life. Uh, Subdeacon has some of those uh, uh, posters out there. It's at 1 p.m., but we will have a divine liturgy to begin that day uh, at 10 a.m. Uh, we'll have some of, especially the church from St. Ignatius coming down for that as well. So kind of keep that out there. Um, you never know what the weather's like on that day, so just be prepared for cold. The what? Oh, one other thing, I, and I was trying to get to that too. The holy water. So we've now blessed more holy water. If you have holy water at your house, go ahead and feed it to a plant, some older holy water, just feed it to a plant, um, and come and get some of the new holy water. And so just a word about that. The holy water out there in the narthex is not there just to quench thirst, meaning if you're thirsty, go over to the water fountain and get some water. Uh, the holy water is to bless ourselves. Um, so certainly, if you want to do that, take some of that water. But like I said, it's not just for casual drinking. That's not just a, a water fountain. It's holy water. Um, take some home. Um, if you're having a nightmare or your children are having a nightmare, anoint them with it. Have them drink that. If you're sick, anoint yourself with it. Drink it. Um, I know families that don't leave the house without a little bit of uh, taking of holy water. Um, the holy water is there for us. Um, and I'll say this, especially almost in every house, especially if there's nobody orthodox there, we do not believe in magic in the church. Holy water is not magic. Uh, but we do believe in the grace of God, and we do believe the fact that we can sanctify everything around us, ourselves, the water, the earth, time itself. We sanctify things. And so, especially during the season of house blessings, um, let us go in and sanctify your house. Lots happens over the year, a lot. 
Um, and especially if you're in a new house or a new thing, you may not know what has gone on there before, but there is no better way to uh, uninvite the demons than to come and sanctify your house with holy water. Um, so thank you for bringing that up. Um, do we have any commemorations? Do we have any birthdays? What do we got? Isidore, come up. We got a John back there at least. Oh. Yeah, we should have some Johns. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, what else do we got? Anything else? Then let us wish mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, and many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many, many years. Glory to thee, O our God. Glory to thee. Glory to thee.